All right, welcome to the last part of lesson 4-2. Um, this is the video recording that we're going to use for Tuesday, November the 17th, if you're in hour 7. And then for Wednesday, November the 18th, if you're in hours 1 and 4. So on Monday, we did part C here. Um, we defined the natural log function. Um, we looked at the graph of e to the x and its inverse. Um, we put these into our calculator and made sure we were proficient there. And we skipped over this slide. So now I want you to go in your notebook and I, write, I want you to write down all these properties of logarithms for the natural logs. All right, so you can pause this video for a second. You can write down all of these properties. And then we're going to go on to example six. All right, I'm going to walk you through how to do each of these examples. I'll probably quote a property as we go, so I'll be going up and down, back and forth between this slide and the previous one. All right, first of all, the ln of e is 1. So I would have 1 times x squared, so that's just x squared. And again, that's because the natural log of e is 1, that's property 2. You don't have to know these properties by number. You just have to know how to use them. OK, for this next one, I'm going to write it as e to the negative second. And then I'm going to compare that to the ln of e to the x right here. And that equals x. So I could tell you then that this equals negative 2. And that's property number, I believe that was 3. Yep, that's your inverse property. All right, for this last one, e to the ln of 5, that matches this one right here. So e to the ln of 5 is just 5. And the ln of 1 is 0, so 5 minus 0 is 5. OK, that last one was a combination of property 4. Nope, sorry, the second part of property 3 and property 2. And you've got some here to try. Um, this is part A of number 6, this guy right here. So that's what I was trying to show you with my extra writing. That's part A. I added in a part B. And I gave you a new part C. Sorry. A new number seven. Okay. We already did example seven. So now the last part of this lesson is an application problem. So I'll walk you through this one and then um, you'll be done with lesson four two. My next video will get you started on lesson four three. All right, students participating in a psychology experiment attended several lectures on a subject and took an exam. Every month for a year after the exam, the students took a retest to see how much of the material they remembered. The average scores for the group are given by the human memory model, and this is it right here, where 0 to 12 represents the time in months. So what was the average score on the original exam at time equals 0? So f of 0 equals 75 minus 6 times a natural log of t plus 1. So 0 plus 1 would be what I have. Now if you were uh, paying attention before, the natural log of 1 is 0. So the natural log of 1 is 0. So that's the zero I have here. So the original score on the exam was a 75%. And then I would plug in and find f of 2. And it's 2 plus 1. And I would go to my calculator. I'm going to go ahead and set up the next one, and then I'll put my calculator to use here. All 
All right, so 75 minus 6 ln of 3 is about 68.4%. So two months passed, and you've already forgot about 7% of the information. So let's see what happens at six months. Well, now you're down to about 63% of the information. So there you go. Okay, that is then the end of this lesson for two. Um, you have one practice problem, and I think if you make it big enough, you'll be able to read everything. Um, let's see. It should be pretty self-explanatory. I think you should do okay with it. Um, this is a Greek letter beta. So this is beta equals 10 times the log of the letter I over 10 to the negative 12th. Okay, and they tell you what everything stands for in the problem. All right, that's it.